huge pin board outside of Mama Melrose. Oh, I recognize her off of HGR uh, flip this no flea market flip. That's what I've watched her off of. All right, so we're in Mama Melrose. It's time to eat now. All right, all you ladies that grew up in the 80s, you know your hair was like this. Ooh, it's kind of romantic in here with the sparkle lights and the grapevines and the fish with the huge glasses. So, let me give you a little view of the entree selections. I think I'm going to go with the polentia with the mushroom and herb cauliflower. So, it's layered with sautéed mushrooms, spinach, red pepper with a cashew cheese sauce. You can pause the video if you want to read any of these any closer. What do you think you're going with? Um, I'm going to go a little outside. Salsa vodka. What is that? Is that sausage or something? No, it's actually a pork and it's got some other bunch of stuff on it. It's got like a lemon caper sauce and all sorts of different stuff. It's actually something that pairs with the white wine from the Italian rather than the red. So. Oh, you're getting a wine? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so we just have some olive oil and they brought rolls that are, they are warm. So this is my amazing looking vegetarian meal and Tom's pork. Okay, my dessert is the chocolate and cherry tort, and he got tiramisu. That's that's a lot of dessert there. Not like any tiramisu I've ever seen before, but you know, be, it could be interesting. Could be interesting. Our bill would have been seventy nine dollars without the dining plan, so his meal was. Mine was 19. My Coke would have been 349. Um, his tiramisu would have been eight, and my port would have been 750. Okay, so Mama Melrose, I would definitely go back. Um, okay, what she has to say is irrelevant here. Let, let's talk about my main course. Probably one of the top five main courses I have had at a Disney restaurant. It was outstanding. I had the salt and vodka, which was a pork tenderloin, uh, extremely good cut of meat, extremely well prepared, had prosciutto ham on it, had a lemon capery sauce with some mashed potatoes with just the right amount. Man, it was really, really good. Uh, here's to trying one of those non-standard, out-of-the-way places like Mama Melrose's. Holy cow, that was good. Okay, you were saying? Oh, you want my opinion? How was the one that mattered? Um, I didn't try the rolls. How were the rolls? Uh, they were good. They were good. They were not, not nothing special, but they okay. were fine. They were fine. Okay. Um, so my vegetarian meal was great. The just enough sauce over everything. It had to have been one of the best roasted cauliflower I've ever had. I'm not sure what seasoning they had on it because it was just minimal which was awesome. I didn't realize there was such a thing as best roasted cauliflower but yeah. okay go ahead. And mushroom and roasted tomato sauce. The, I guess they said it was like a peanut cashew or cashew sauce. I can't remember what the menu said. I really didn't taste anything 
nuttyish. I just taste most mostly the roasted um, tomatoes, which were, were great. And the creamed like potatoes were fine. It was very filling. I didn't even get to finish it all because it was so filling. It is something definitely I would get again. The dessert, the chocolate and cherry tort. Whoa, that was really rich. Like I was, that was potent. I, I had wish, one small bite. Yeah, I wish I had a glass of Multi, multiple flavors as you went through it. So that was cool. That yeah, was because cool. it was nice. I would take I, a little spoon of the the chocolate, one cherry, and then just a tiny bit of the cream, all in one bite. Yeah, I, I had the tiramisu, which was unconventional as tiramisu goes. It came in a old-fashioned glass with a ladyfinger kind of crunchier than you would normally expect sticking up out of the top of it and it was interesting it was good but you know not not the highlight of the meal no i didn't try the tiramisu i tried your ladyfinger which was just kind of hard and bland but the chocolate on it was okay yeah, yeah. but yeah but as a, the main course we would go back holy cow yeah and that, the that was weren't that bad yeah that was totally unexpected i've never even heard of the place before like she said this is where we're going and it's 30 feet from here yeah. so um here here's to trying the unconventional spots dining spots around walt disney world and uh you never know when you might come across something really cool. Yeah, so hopefully that's one of the purposes of these vlogs is maybe there's a restaurant out there that you haven't heard of before. And where is this? We're, we're in Hollywood Studios. And we're in Hollywood Studios? And it is back behind Muppet Vision 3D. So it's kind of tucked away in a corner. So you actually okay. may not have heard of it. Yeah, just past Pizza Rizzo. Yeah. So anyway, oh, and it is a um, table service credit, one credit, and um, we would come back not on the, the dining plan. It was okay price-wise. Mm, oh yeah, so, I'd do it, I'd do it. Right. So there you go. Check out all the other restaurant reviews. Check out that playlist. You see me at the parks. Come say hello. Every city, every place